Fantastic Four are back. The Thing, Human Torch, Invisible Woman, and Mr. Fantastic come together to save the world. This reboot has a new origin story about how the quartet became so fantastic. Something involving alternate dimensions. But here at Reactions, we kick it old school. We know from the comics that the Fantastic Four got their powers the same way the Hulk, Daredevil, and Spider-Man did. Radiation. More comics in a second, but first a word on radiation, starting with the word itself. Radiation gets kind of a bad rap, but radiation is just energy that comes from a source and travels through space. Light, sound, and heat are all forms of radiation. For the most part, these kinds are harmless, but yes, all of them are bad in large quantities. They can make you blind, deaf, or on fire. But that's not the kind of radiation that gives our superheroes power. To get superpowers, you need way more energy than sound, visible light, or heat can provide. So what would it take? For more, here's Professor Dan Clays. Gamma rays, like the ones that hit the Hulk, are one form of radiation. They're intense bursts of light that pack a lot of energy, way more than ordinary visible light. Where does that energy come from? Radioactivity. Atoms that are unstable are called radioactive. You've probably heard that before. These unstable atoms are trying to get some stability in their lives. A radioactive atom spits out particles, or, or gamma rays, as it decays. Since these particles and rays come from the atom's nucleus, together they're called nuclear radiation. Depending on the type of atom, this nuclear radiation can contain enough energy to penetrate objects, things like, say, human skin. Inside the body, this nuclear radiation may change the makeup of some of your cells, sometimes killing them. In medicine, we've learned how to use controlled nuclear radiation to kill cancer cells. But uncontrolled nuclear radiation runs around amok and can cause cancer. In fictional universes, the changes can also give someone superpowers. Let's go back to the Fantastic Four. In issue one, four astronauts took off and found themselves tossed around in a cosmic ray storm. Cosmic rays are atomic shrapnel and nuclear radiation that flood the universe. Atoms throughout our galaxy, and in galaxies far, far away, that have energetically decayed or maybe blasted out of exploding stars. Now, we get exposed to cosmic rays all day, every day. They pass right through you as much as a thousand times a second. Since we're about two-thirds water, the cosmic ray particles mostly just tickle the water molecules in our body and move on. But the dose the Fantastic Four received was much higher than we receive on Earth's surface. In the Van Allen radiation belt that surrounds the Earth well above our atmosphere, rays can be stupid high. Instead of a thousand times a second, the four were probably hit around 15 million times a second. If there was a solar flare during that storm, it would have been 10 times that. So just like a little breeze on Earth that doesn't do anything, a storm can do a lot of damage. When they crash land, boom they've got superpowers. That's where the comic book magic comes in. We've got about 75 trillion cells in our body. Even if the four were hit with the same number of cosmic rays as cells in the body, it doesn't guarantee each cell was hit with one cosmic ray. Some will be missed entirely, while neighboring cells might be hit twice or even more. Imagine the human torch flaming on for the first time with only 63% of his cells transformed. Ouch! The odds of cosmic rays transmuting all 75 trillion of each of the Fantastic Four cells in the same superhuman way and giving them each a different ability, fire, stretchiness, rock, and invisibility, it's pretty out there. But hey, that's why we love superheroes. They do stuff we just can't do. So enjoy the movie, but please don't yell out the scientific inaccuracies. Save that for the internet. But you know what you can do? Give us a like there. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can get more superhero food, cat, dog, and other chemistry fun in your YouTubes every week. Big thanks to Professor Dan Clays for his combined love of the Fantastic Four and physics, and the Psypop series for making this video possible. And hey, thanks for watching.